Good morning from Cathedral Square in Vilnius. Behind me is the statue of Gediminas, who was the founder of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The Grand Duchy, or like the Lithuanian Empire, was one of the largest in Europe for a time. So this guy, Gediminas, founded it in 1315, 1316-ish, and it comprised lands of the Baltics, so Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, and what is now the Czech Republic. So we're gonna do a little bit of a history exploration today. So come along, we're gonna go see some cool stuff, some stuff in nature, some stuff outside of, you know, Vilnius' old town, and let's go explore. Woo! So I guess this is the National Museum of Lithuania. We decided to skip the museum. It was four euros, which is it's not, not bad. Yeah, not bad. But we have a lot of stuff we want to do and we kind of got a late start today. So let's try and get on top of that hill. What? If you, you walk- never tell if you're recording or not. If you walk up, it's free. So we're gonna walk up because that's what traveling on a budget's all about. Like I said earlier, this is called Gediminas or Gediminas Castle and it was built in the 14th century and it actually survived the Crusades. But there was a war with the Russian Empire in 1655 and the castle was destroyed and they never rebuilt it. So. Behind me is all that was left, and there was one more tower, the tower you've seen. And so this tower was partially restored, and inside there's a museum. Here in Vilnius, it's like nothing was rebuilt, and it, it still has, you know, its original, you know, plaster and paint, even though it's, you know, chipping away and kind of falling apart. It, it adds that charm to the city. Yeah, Vilnius is definitely my favorite Baltic city. Like, we're gonna be here for five days and I feel like we could even stay longer because there's just so much to explore. But after like Tallinn and Riga being there for two or three days, we were both like, okay, we're done. We've seen everything. Yeah. I, I feel like there's just more to discover here, which I love. museum inside that tower is six euros per person so we did that last time we were here in 2019 so I think we're gonna skip it this time but it is cool if you do come here it is worth seeing so our next spot are those crosses on top of that hill Yeah, it's a schlep, but look at this. Worth it. Got the whole thing to oh. ourselves. So this is the hill of the three crosses. Should not be confused with the hill of crosses, which is also in Lithuania, but is in like the northwestern part of the country. That, that's the hill that's covered in like hundreds of thousands of like small smaller crosses that's not near Vilnius that's closer to the Latvian border they got lamps so the crosses are all lit up at night I don't know how much you guys can actually see but that tower with the flag that's where we just were you can see the TV tower in the back I don't know if you can see those smokestacks super far out you get, get a view of like the whole city up here. Allegedly, 
and this is what the legend says, seven Franciscan friars were beheaded on top of this hill. And people kept putting wooden crosses up here to, you know, commemorate them. In 1916, they designed a concrete memorial, similar to what we see here today. But in 1950, the Soviets ordered it to be torn down. And so it was torn down. And it was rebuilt, the one that we see here was rebuilt in 1989. Enjoy the view. And then we're gonna go explore what could be the cutest suburb in Europe. Let's go find out. I guess we'll find out. It's like an ice panther. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch it, so I'm doing that weird, like, hovering thing. Good call. It's a snow leopard. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe. This area is really, I guess you could say hipstery. It's very artist and musician and sculpture oriented. So there's tons of stuff all over the place. It's really cool. Oh, hello. It is a bit cold out, isn't it? The Lithuanian Gopniks walk by smoking a joint. It smells like gasoline here. So that neighborhood has declared itself independent and is issued their own constitution and everything. And apparently on April Fool's Day, there's like a big party and celebration throughout that whole neighborhood. What did you think, Joe Fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun today. What was your favorite part? Probably the three crosses, just cause I like the hike up there, the viewpoint. And it's just like a cool, has like a cool history to it as well. I would say the same thing. Wow. So, thanks for watching, and we will see you later. See ya. Bye bye.